All right, well, this is something that's uh, referred to on the uh, internet as simply the hand crank Van de Graaff generator. And there's a bunch of videos out there on how to uh, build various types of this. And what it is, it's a Van de Graaff generator, very simple, that you use your hand instead of an electric motor to wind up the uh, belt and to make it to produce the static electricity. And this is uh, what it looks like inside. There's a rubber band belt that goes around a PVC stick pin, just a writing pin, tube. Up at the top is the typical glass fuse where you take off the end caps of the fuse and you use the glass with a paper clip through it and a rubber band. The crank simply moves the charge from top to bottom. It's collected inside a can, which is this is a soft drink uh, small soft drink can that I've covered in aluminum foil tape. The charge gets picked up here and builds up and creates a high voltage. And uh, like I say, this is a Van de Graaff generator and it's referred to as the hand crank. And I, I am lid motor and I finally got this one to work a few days ago. And my first one of these was a complete failure. And I tried to use a cardboard tube. Uh, incorrectly, I tried to put all the mechanism on the outside. And I worked for days and days, and it didn't work. But this one works very, very good. And all it is, like I say, is um, extremely simple. It's a soda pop bottle. Uh, you have to use a soda pop bottle because the wall thickness is enough to give you rigidity. If you try to use a water bottle, it's not strong enough. You've got to use one of these um, thicker bodied bottles. Uh, there's a little brush down inside there that is the negative on the rubber band and the PVC stick pipe, uh, stick pin. And then up here and underneath the can is the fuse with the other pickup that goes to the can. I just have a very simple pulley that uh, makes this thing spin around faster. And let me see if I can set the camera down and show how this works. Now, this is a two-handed operation, so you, you need to have a, a camera with a tripod. But I'll show you how this works. This right here is a little, um, um, almost like a um, electroscope. This is an electroscope here. This is a um, static electric uh, motor here, and it's a um, device where... It picks up a charge and gets a separated charge with a negative ground on this side and spins the rotor around. And let me crank the little Van de Graaff up here. You have to hold it so that you, your hand produces the ground. Watch the little um, volunteer student here <laughs> get shocked. And you notice the motor's going now. Let me crank this some more. I'll get the motor spin, spun up real good. You should see the little uh, electroscope here, the little needles on the electroscope, and they're splayed out. Do it again here. Now this produces about a centimeter spark. And from my research, that's about 30,000 volts, so they say. And that's a static electric uh, discharge that causes this, uh, this buildup. And what's inside the uh, Van de Graaff here, uh, let me open this up, I'll show you. It's very, very simple. There's just a fuse where I've taken the end caps off the fuse. It's uh, supported by a paper clip. There's a little wire that goes in there that nearly touches the rubber band, but doesn't touch the rubber band. And then this little can is just a soda pop can with the tape on the outside. And that is the um, wire that goes up inside the can. And they call this the uh, hand crank Van de Graaff generator. Thanks for watching.